Oh, I am so happy to be back in Henderson County. Oh, this, this works good because I can <laughs> walk around. Um, and to be representing the southern third of Henderson County. And because I don't want to forget this while I'm here, I want to ask those people who live in the southern part of Henderson County on your way out, pick up my brochure. Because my brochure has a map of the precincts, and they are listed here. There's always been confusion about which precincts are in 113. They're listed here, so be sure and look and see if you're in, you can tell which district you're in if you take this home with you. Um, I understand Tom, I was over in Polk County speaking when Tom Abadaka spoke, so I'm not going to get too much into what the General Assembly has done and, and uh, Chuck has given you what's happening too. I came back in January. I was elected by the executive committees of the three counties, Transylvania, Polk, and Henderson, and I am really enjoying being back and representing you and the other counties. We are busy uh, kind of doing some things Chuck's talking about. They passed a wonderful budget last year. They did a great job, and it's our job this year to, re to re look at it again and see if any adjustments need to be made. But one area that I'm particularly involved in is overriding those vetoes in the North Carolina House. And one of those that we keep watching and counting, the few times we're in session, we're counting because we only need a few votes to override the voter ID veto. And we are working on that. I used to be the Republican whip, and it was my job to count. But Speaker Tillis has warned the House members that whenever there are votes available to override one of those vetoes, we will do it. Yeah. Yes. And we have our Republicans on the floor all the time. And whenever a few Democrats disappear or something happens where the count changes, we only need a few votes. You're hearing a lot of criticism for the override of the NCAE dues uh, checkoff which they did the night that I was installed in the House. It was an interesting late night, but we did override that one. Um, one, of the th one of the things I want to tell you in my race that dif dif differentiates me from my opponent is experience. I've been there. I served for 10 years. I served in the Republican caucus leadership. I served in the minority those 10 years. I'm back there now. I retain my five years of senior, five terms of seniority, which is 10 years. And I have another half year I'm adding this time. It makes a big difference in the North Carolina House. My opponent and I have both served in local government. He on the school board and myself on these county commissioners. So we served with a, a commission of five people. But the North Carolina House is 120 people, and I will be in the top leadership because of my seniority, and that will be a really excellent thing for Henderson County and the rest of the district. I will be probably around 10th or 11th in seniority in the Republican caucus when we go back. So I offer you that, my experience and my record, uh, very conservative, you all know that. Call me if you need anything. And those of you who live in South Henderson County, pick this up on your way out.